who are joining us on another mini staycation this weekend. Last weekend we were in Blackpool and Preston to see Six the Musical. Um, if you haven't seen that vlog, I will leave it linked below if you want to go and check that one out. But today we are on our way to Stamford on Avon, which is roughly part way between Birmingham and somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know, somewhere. Um, I'll put it on a map so you can see roughly whereabouts in the UK. I think we've got another hour to go, have we? 45 minutes, we've hit a few traffic jams on the way, but we have got completely different weather to the Blackpool trip, because at Blackpool it was chucking it down, and it's the complete opposite here, and we are all melting. The car says it's currently 30 degrees. Um, we've got the aircon on it's just too hot it's going to be very warm in the caravan so dreading that a little bit but we do have a fan this time we bought a little mini rechargeable fan so hopefully that will help but we're heading down because i bought tickets to the f1 races which are being held at silverstone in 2019 so christmas 2019 and it has been put off because of Covid, it's been rescheduled and it's finally happen happening this weekend. Um, so we're taking the caravan for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday and we come home on Monday. So I don't have tickets to the F1, it's just Adam and Kai who are going and me and Abby are just going to entertain ourselves, go for a walk and we're also doing some shopping at the world's biggest Primark on Saturday. So that's what we're getting up to, we're just going to drive to get to the caravan park which is Stanford Hall um, setting up there and then getting some tea we're here and set up we have a pan of pasta on the go because we were all starving <laughs> and this is the campsite I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see through this window but there's a bit a big area of grass just outside us because I think the more that arrive the more this will fill up but this is where we are at the minute a few caravans all the way around a lot of them seem to be seasonal caravans where they're pitched up like all the time and then the ones that are kind of in the middle of the grass are the tours we've got some out of that window we've got all the fly nets down at the minute because there's a lot of flies trying to get in and this is the view from my window We've already eaten our pasta and we've come and found an Aldi for snackage. It is half eight at night and we have nothing in the caravan but a couple of crisps so we've come to get some nommies. We thought we'd give you a little tour of the caravan park as you come in. We've come through a corded um, gate and then there's lots of caravans parked up on hard standing pitches. These are here most of the time. Some of them are absolutely massive RVs. This fancy one. These have all got the bits that like extend, like the living spaces extend out once you've parked up. Some of these are massive. These are mostly on gravel pitches as well, so these are here most of the year. Parked up already. I've got natural gardens outside and everything. <laughs> and we're at the end of the loop before you go back out. Um, so this little bit here is where you do all your water and your bin and stuff. And our caravan sat there in the middle of the grass. A nice sky. It means it's going to be nice and sunny tomorrow. So we've got a bit of an excessive haul because this is only for tonight. Adam's actually going out and finishing the full food shop tomorrow. Once the fridge has kind of come up to temperature, he's going out and getting the food for the rest of the week. So this is actually only for tonight, but I've got some cream soda. Adam, where's your grape soda? Oh, Adam got some grape soda. There it is. Um, some cordial grapes, Battenberg, can't resist Battenberg never tried these before strawberry milkshake slices and then these are a bit like rice crispy squares but they do chocolate and caramel chocolate in aldi we've got our bed sorted <laughs> guys already looking for snacks and i don't know if you can see abby you see abby's arm hanging down got little lights in their bunk beds as well and abby's light <laughs> peeking out 
10 o'clock at night now we're going to bed and we're getting up early i've set an alarm for six o'clock because primark opens at eight but it takes 44 minutes to drive there so we're getting well i would say we're getting an early night but 10 o'clock is pretty late for us so we will see you tomorrow morning it is 20 past eight we are in birmingham near the bull ring we were supposed to be going to primark tomorrow because the boys were supposed to be going to the f1 and me and abby were coming to primark but somebody wasn't happy he was going to miss out on the world's largest primark so we're coming today instead and adam's gone to do the shopping so we're right outside now i don't think this is like the main main entrance it might look a bit like a, a back entrance because we're on the other side of the bow ring so but we'll end up going through this way and see how big it looks so we are at the lower minus two level how many levels oh. <laughs> so many levels luckily it's pretty quiet at the minute because we're we've come early to make sure it we're nice and quiet but oh man so many floors so we're on the men's floor minus one i think minus one is that mez mez cafe it's like a cafe i think somewhere women's more women's kids disney cafes on the second floor oh my god it's massive Abby's already spotted, Stitch and Angel on a jumper. They've also got Winnie the Pooh, Lion King ones, Mickey and Minnie ones. Cam's got a trolley. We've already got a couple of, well, we've got Abby's jumper and a couple of t-shirts for Adam so far. But there's lots of Disney style hoodies. We've been in here for about three quarters of an hour. It's still nice and quiet but we're not impressed so far. We haven't got much. Um, I was expecting them. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm not impressed. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting like every product that they have. And we've got, I've come for some slippers and some pajamas. We haven't got to the pajamas yet, but there's only been like one area for slippers. Um, a lot of the stuff they've only got it in one size. So you know, the t-shirts on the table. It's like a full stack of large in one colour and no other sizes so we're struggling a little bit and it's not quite as they haven't got as much stuff as i thought they would have being like it being the largest so we're just yeah, gonna we're not, allowed to vlog. we're not allowed we got told off for filming i'm not allowed to film primark i'm allowed to film the claws and i'm assuming i'm allowed to film my face <laughs> my own face but we got told off for filming like Primark itself so all I can say is that it's not busy you're just gonna have to take my word for it because I can't actually show you but it's still nice and quiet at 9am and we expect it to get a bit busy around about 11 I think so we're just in the in the home section with all the plants so all this sort of stuff yeah we're just gonna <laughs> finish up probably pretty soon I need a new bag as well but they're all all just one type of Mickey bag at the minute. Not really anything jumping out. Uh, this is all we've got. <laughs> some t-shirts for Adam, Abby's jumper and some bobby pins. And we're heading up to the last floor already, which is the kids' floor. So on the top floor, you've got the Disney Cafe, which is currently shut. I think it opens at 11, but the sign does say see you tomorrow, so I'm not sure, but then the booze. And well in the kids section, Abby's finding lots of dresses and jumpsuits, like the one she's got on. <laughs> Our basket is now full of Abby's clothes. <laughs> we have plenty of Disney pyjamas, we've got Ariel, we have Mulan on this set, Chippendale on that set. Lady in the trap. We have come out of Primark. We are outside the Bull Ring shopping centre. We're heading in there in a minute to try and find some food. The famous Bull is out there. It is super hot and super busy. Little pit stop. It is only half ten, but we're all starving. So these have got sausage rolls. Got some yum yums. We've got a view. 
Uh, the bull ring is three floors. I thought it was only like two floors or one floor, but it's about three floors high. Lots of different shops on. We're heading to the <laughs> Disney shop after this. Well, I thought it were like a traffic center giant, but it's not really. No, not really. What did you think of Primark? World's largest Primark? Pop. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> Summed it up in one word. Yeah, Bob. Bob. Yeah, they didn't have as much as I thought they were going to have. Mind that. You are now. <laughs> yeah, so they didn't have as many clothes as we thought. Or rather, they had the clothes, but they didn't have all the sizes. It was just one whole stack of large in one colour, and then there wasn't anything else. It just wasn't. It just wasn't as good as we thought it was going to be. Um, the cafes are obviously shut, they don't open till 11 anyway, so if you wanted to visit them, you should set off a little bit later. Started getting a bit busier as we were leaving, but um, I think my favorite Primark is still Blackpool. I think Blackpool's still the best Primark I've been to, and maybe Manchester's. I haven't been to the Trafford Centre one yet. Yeah, we have. Have we? Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Square. Yeah, that was we the did. only thing there. <laughs> yeah, we did. We have been to the Drawford Centre Primark. That one's not too bad either. We're in the Disney store and I cannot believe they have a Funko Pop for dinosaurs and it's only £3.29. They've got quite a few bits on sale. We've got the Fantasia Hippo, £3.29. There's a pack of masks, a poo for four masks. The Kai's having a good look for one in his size. Little grippy characters, these are two pounds. Also, it's been reduced 70% off. Massive sleepy baby. It's really soft. <laughs> We've stopped again in a little park for dinner. Two huge, what have you got? What is it? Chicken and bacon subs. I had a vegan sausage roll, but I did ask for a beef, a beef pasty, and I got a sausage roll. Um, it's a lot quieter up here. Birmingham is so noisy. There's musicians on. Like every corner, there's people on microphones. The religions are fighting. The religions the are fighting across one the street. One corner's got, one corner's got Christians playing Jesus things really loud, <laughs> and the other corner's got Islam. Really loud, Quran trying readings. to be louder than each other. Um, so we found a quiet spot. So we're going to eat dinner and then have another look around. But I think we've pretty much done most of the shops. We've been in H and M. Already. Well, where else? Where else? What other shops know. did you want to see? Shopping. <laughs> yeah, but we've been in H and M. We've been in Disney Store. Kai okay, got a a Luca pin. That's my receipt. I won't get it out yet. <laughs> Luca pin. Abby's got loads of clothes from Primark. Might see if there's any like independent shops on on some of the smaller streets. I think Abby spotted a anime shop, a manga shop, but there were loads of people queuing to get in. So we'll see if there's anything else like that. I probably should have done my research, but because we've just come across this area, I've no idea what it is to tell you about. Um, you look like Lost in the <laughs> You're filming around and I'm looking around trying to find the signs of where we are. <laughs> We're pretty much tourists in, in uh, Birmingham, which is only a couple of hours away from our house, but we've never been to check out Birmingham before, so I have no idea what this area is. It says Victoria Square City Centre. Yeah, but I don't know what this buildings what the buildings for and these really weird looking statues <laughs> we're just being absolute tourists oh that's the town hall the town hall but all these people who are local to birmingham are watching yeah, who know watching. birmingham are like tracy <laughs> what an idiot <laughs> i finally found a flying tiger shop look what abby's found they have the cherry section. I'm definitely going to have to pick something up. It is one of my favourite shops. We have left Birmingham Shopping Centre and come to Fort. Fort what? Shopping Park. Fort Shopping Park because they have another Primark. We weren't happy with the largest one. We feel like we didn't get a lot of what we're coming for because I need some sunglasses. Whoa, crossing the road. Uh, <laughs> um, I need some sunglasses. I needed a new handbag. Um, so we didn't get a lot of the stuff so we've decided to come to the next nearest Primark on the shopping centre to see if that's any better. We're now back at the caravan park 
we bought a few things from Primark. I got my slippers. Uh, my mum and dad transferred me some birthday money. It's not my birthday till the end of the month, but they knew I was going to Primark <laughs> for my birthday. So I bought some slippers and some pyjamas. Um, we'll probably do a little mini Primark haul afterwards so you can see what we've bought. There's a, supposed to be a little dog walk um, at the caravan park and it looked really shaded and woody because it is really really hot today. It's hot in the caravan and Adam's just put the oven on to cook the pizzas that he got from Aldi today. Um, it's just it's too hot to sit in there so we've decided to come out on the walk but it's brought us back out into a sunny field. Um, so we're on the caravan park called Stamford Hall Caravan Park and this is Stamford Hall. So we're at the field next to Stamford Hall. There's an event going on tomorrow. I think it's like a bike show so it looks like they've got lots of tents set up ready for like a fun fair type of thing. Um, there'll be food and things. I think it's about £10 per adult to get in and at the caravan park they did say there was a few people arriving to visit the event so it must be popular. Good morning, it's actually Sunday today. It is nearly half past eight. Um, we had our pizza, listened to some music and went to bed. They got up early, Adam and Kai are at Silverstone now. They got there at quarter past seven this morning. They packed the bags, they're trying to find a seat and some breakfast. Um, and I just thought I'd show you what we bought yesterday before I get ready because there's no rush for us to do anything today. So, um, Abby got some little mustard shorts. These were £4.50 from Primark. She also got the jumper you saw in the video with Stitch and Angel on. Then we found this really cute cropped jumper, um, lemon one with Mickey Mouse on. They also had a pink one, which was a pound more for some reason. It was the exact same jumper, just pink with a different picture on. So this was £9. I picked up some slippers because I needed some new slippers. These should have been £6 but they scanned at £3 because they have been in Primark a while so they might be going on sale pretty soon in yours. I picked up just a plain yellow v-neck t-shirt. This was £2.50. I then spotted this on sale in the pyjama section. <laughs> it should have been £10. I got it for £5 and it's a lemon shirt and they had matching shorts to go with it but it's got like a little tie at the bottom so you can tie it around your waist and a lot of people I saw this on Prim, um, Primark's Instagram and a lot of people saying they would buy either the shorts or the shirt and wear it as an actual outfit rather than pajamas because I thought this might look good with like a navy skirt or navy shorts rather than using it as pajamas so that's what I bought that for Abby also got another jumpsuit. The jumpsuits were quite cheap. They were only £5 each. And they had lots of different patterns and shapes. Four t-shirts for Adam, three white ones and a navy one because he was running out of t-shirts to put under shirts and things. Um, another yellow t-shirt. This is Abby's t-shirt. It has a B on it and this was only £1.80. Picked up some spare leggings got these pajamas that i'm wearing because it's a yellow t-shirt and then we've got lemons stripy lemons on the bottom because our caravan has like a lemon yellow sort of theme we've got like lemon bowls lemon coasters and yes i bought matching pajamas for the caravan i also picked up some more bobby pins because i was running out of those kai went into the disney store and he wanted to get this Luca pin. This is still on Shop Disney at the minute. It's £13 but not part of the three for two pin sale at the minute. Got that and he's on the lookout for a Luca pop. Then we went into the Flying Tiger. Abby got this pineapple pen, fluffy pineapple pen and I couldn't resist and got the cherry version. But I think that's pretty much all we got. Um, Oh no, we've got some, some sunglasses. Kai got some sunglasses and I just picked up these ones. Um, we had to go to two different Primarks to get that, that whole haul because the largest one didn't have much. But that's all we got. I'm going to get up and get ready for the day. I think we're going to go for a short walk today. It's super hot though. Um, and we've been keeping some of these 
shut so the window the view that i showed you the other day we no longer have that view because there's more people arriving more caravans and motorhomes arriving and someone's parked theirs right out front side the front window so if we open this the main big window at the caravan we've got a view of people sitting outside and it's a bit it's just a bit awkward when you go to look out the window and they're all sat there so you, you feel like you can't look so it's easier just to shut it um, and we've had to park the car on the other side because they've like kind of spread out on this side a little bit so we can't get the car in but me and Abby are going to get ready now she's sat up in her bed and uh, I'll catch you up in a bit so many of them though We're up and set out for our walk. There's a lot of cars on this road though because they're all going to the bike show. But I don't know if you can hear that noise, hear that humming noise. Abby thought that that was grass, lots of grasshoppers, but it's in fact some majorly noisy power lines. We've taken our first turn in off road and found ourselves as we usually do in the middle of an open field and haven't got a clue how we get out. It does say on the gate, please follow the way markers, but this is what we're looking at. Got to try and find the right way out. I have completely coincidentally worn more lemons today. I bought this jumpsuit or play suit last year. Not worn it because the weather's not really been warm enough. <laughs> I packed it thinking it's going to be 20 odd degrees. It's going to be finally warm enough to wear it and then realise it's got lemons on it. Same as my pyjamas, same as my top, same as the caravan. Abby's wearing her new jumpsuit because it's too warm today. And her new visor. <laughs> um, and we're just going to find our way across this field and out the other side, hopefully, without meeting any bulls. We have actually spotted some cows. I'm hoping we can pass them <laughs> without any trouble. Oh, we're not feeding you. We don't want you to come towards us. <laughs> We've just found a little shaded tree. I think we're supposed to go down there somewhere. Why do we always get lost? I don't know. I'm looking at this little map on our phone and we're the red circle, so we're following this blue line, but we just always seem to get lost in the middle of a field.
were out for roughly two hours today. <laughs> we had ham and cheese crackers for dinner and now we've just found a shady spot on one side of the caravan that's got a bit of a breeze. It's still a red hot, but we've, at least we've got a breeze. And Abby is working on a butterfly colouring in blues and purples. <laughs> so we're just a tiniest patch of shade ever. Just starting there and then it's full sun. We've got the race on, haven't spotted them in the crowd yet. Because I think Adam and Kai said there was a cameraman stood right next to them filming parts of the race. I bet they're absolutely roasting there today. Have we got food in the fridge? Yes. Have we also got a phone with access to Domino's? Yes. We've got the goods. Cheeseburger pizza. Meaty pizza. I'm kind of sad. My phone has died, so I can't take pictures. No, I always guarantee there's a Harry Potter film on ITV at the weekend. Pairing it with a peach, mango and lime cider. The bag. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Have you got Kentucky? Yeah. It's busy with Eden and the Domino's. I did! We did save your pizza! I've gone to fill the water barrel up again. <laughs> Everything takes so long when he does it. It's like a sloth. What's he doing? Oh, he's emptying it. Oh! <laughs> I, I should also state he's got Adam's shoes on his feet. His feet aren't usually that big. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's like Mr. Bean. <laughs> it's like Mr. Bean. <laughs> Stand nice and still until he goes fast. It's <laughs> 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 really shaky. What? Shakira dancing. Where's the Shakira? <laughs> I've someone playing Shakira. No. <laughs> no, you were dancing like Shakira. <laughs> Your bum were wiggling, Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> it's Monday today, which means we go home today. It is 10 to 10 in the morning. We're just having our breakfast and it is still roasting. We're supposed to have highs of 31.5 today. <laughs> Everybody is sweating already. Just come out for a little walk around the caravan park this morning. Coming across some really massive, massive caravans. There's our little caravan. All set up, there's quite a, a bit of room now that the other ones have left. Park the car back on the other side. But this whole grassy bit um, are still pitches, so it can get full if they are booked up. <laughs> back home again we have literally hit the ground running since we got home Adam's obviously gone back to work I started straight into work there are piles of washing everywhere suitcases are still out I'm pretty gutted we did this didn't work out the other way around because I am mega busy now until mid-August really I would I would have preferred to been really busy and then the break <laughs> rather than the break and then when you come back you are just 
insanely crazily busy but we all had a really good time we were really lucky with the weather still really hot today which i'm dreading because i'm gonna have the oven on today but if you are in the uk i hope you have been surviving the heat especially if you are a cake maker and you have had to be decorating in this it's not very often we'll get days like this or even weeks like this so I am thinking of you and your sticky fondant and sticky sugar paste but I am going to end the little weekend vlog here I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you again in a little bit